The main photograph shows a pool frog. Top right you can see water lilies as I canoe past them. To the bottom right is a hawker dragonfly laying eggs. This is my wildlife watching vlog about my canoe trip and a brief walk around a wildflower meadow at Viribben Veden. Really not sure about that pronunciation. <laughs> this is one of my early vlogs. I've ended up editing them all at the same time. So this is like early attempt. It's not got all of the like super powerful video and um, shots that I, I learned how to get for the later ones. So do watch if, you, if you're feeling nosy or just want to know a bit about my canoe trip and day here. Hmm. Perennial debate. Should you go wildlife watching by canoe? I'm never sure. The The upside is you're really low down, it's a unique view, there's something quite adventurous about it. And sometimes things like dragonflies and birds will come very close. I also find that I can end up in very in more remote spots. So I saw a purple heron on this particular, particular canoe trip, despite the fact it's very difficult to see because I was in such an isolated area that you can't really walk to but you can only get to by canoe and hardly anyone does it. Downside, you can't do what I'm about to do here which is having finished the canoe trip I went to a wildflower meadow really easy to wander around get nice photographs and if you're not into taking photographs it still means that you can like get nice views and go oh look at that bird over there, let me just shift a bit to the left so that that branch isn't in the way. I probably ought to tell you what all these flowers are the first one was a bird's foot trefoil, the yellow one. Then we saw cotton grass. This is a marsh orchid. This is a rattle. So named because once it's seeded, you can pull one out and shake it. And it makes a rattling sound. This is a yellow loose strife. So, one of my favourite frogs, which is a bit of a strange statement, is the pool frog. Fantastic green line down its back. I saw lots of butterflies and dragonflies and flowers here. I still didn't quite learn all the skills with the video camera in terms of like vlogging, so <laughs> it's not, not, not so many shots for this vlog. But there's a few photos. And in a moment we're going to see a scarlet dragonfly, which I found I find very exciting because I grew up in Britain where there aren't any scarlet dragonflies. Wow. And I'm going to finish this vlog with a hawker dragonfly laying eggs and there's some natural, a lot of natural sounds in the background including what I think are grasshoppers <laughs> 